John Dursick here in the CAD section at Ohio Department of Transportation. And in this video, I'm going to go over some resources and how to really get started uh, working with Ohio DOT and our CAD standards. Hopefully set you guys off on, on the right direction and, and make this a, an easy process to make sure you get the most out of our CAD standards. Um, so first, before we go over the CAD standards, I, I just want to go over a couple resources that I really think you need to know about if you're going to be uh, working with uh, our our standards or our CAD stuff. So uh, the first resource would be our wiki page. Uh, so I have it pulled up already. And uh, this is on Bentley Communities, so we have our own page that you guys can subscribe to after you log in, which I highly recommend. Um, and the wiki page also has a form, so you, our community has a form, so you can make posts there as well, and it goes out to our community, and we monitor that. Um, but the wiki page, you know, you click this button, it takes you to the wiki page. Um, and we kind of have it in a couple of main sections at the top. So first, getting started. Um, so there's, there's a couple uh, articles in there. You might even be watching the video from there, or the video you're watching now. Uh, so then we have training resources. This is where you find pretty much the bulk of the content. Um, so we have a section on training guides. So a couple of the training guides that, that we have for kind of running through our standards with maybe the design side or the survey side, uh, we provide that. Supplemental videos is where we have a lot of short uh, videos to go over various topics. Um, so this is definitely a really good resource. Uh, that you'd want to check out because there's a lot of of how-to videos and how to do certain, certain things within the software. Um, the other sections we have uh, custom applications so we have some custom applications within our software or within our standards and uh, these will kind of give you some videos for how to use those. Uh, we also post our previous CAD user group meetings here the recordings of them as well as CAD uh, webinars. Uh, you'll see there's project-wise and CAD webinars there as well. So this is our wiki page. I definitely don't want to forget about it. It is a definitely a good resource to have. So moving back to other resources that I want to make sure you guys are aware of would be our CAD support request form. Um, so you can use this to get a hold of us so you can contact you, know, you provide comments, suggestions, maybe you need help with something, you have problems, um, go ahead and fill out that request and it'll go to everyone in our office and someone will pick it up. Um, and so that I already have up. It's a pretty simple form. You fill out your name, email, um, and then kind of what category you're dealing with and go ahead and, and explain what's going on or what comment you might have and hit submit and it'll come to us. The other resource uh, that I really, really highly recommend that you do is subscribe to our mailing list. This is going to make sure that you keep up to date on any of our CAD updates uh, or changes that might be happening, but you also will get notified uh, about upcoming events, maybe a webinar or future CAD user group meetings with how to register. Um, so you definitely want to click this that link right there and sign up. Signing up is, is pretty easy. You just kind of put in your email address and name and hit sign up and that will make sure you get get our emails. So just real quick before we got into the cast standards, I want to make sure you guys are aware of those. So now let's quickly go over the different CAD standards that are available. So with Ohio DOT we have had four different CAD standards and our current standard right now is the OHDOT CE V02 standard. This is what we are actively developing and working on. It is for the Bentley Connect Edition products. So if you're starting something new, this is the standard that you should be starting with. Um, the rest of our standards, we have retired at this point in time. So our most recent one that we retired is what we call the OHDOT standards. And this was also for Bentley Connect Edition products. Uh, but again, it is retired. Um, we're no longer making updates to this. So you should only be using this um, standard if if you're finishing off something you might have have already started. Uh, the difference between the V2 and this um, workspace is, is very minor. Uh, mainly we switch fonts, um, but as time goes on and we are no longer updating this one, uh, you'll see more differences between these two workspaces. 
Moving on to an older standard is what we call the ODOT CAD standards. And um, this is retired. We're no longer making updates. We haven't made updates for, for a while now to this. And it was for the Bentley V8i uh, SS4 and SS10 products. Um, and then moving on to even older uh, standard is what we call the ODOT STD standard. Um, and again, this is re retired, no longer updated, and it was for Bentley VDI SS2 products. Uh, we haven't updated the standard in, in a very long time, five, six, seven years now. Um, so hopefully no one is even utilizing this standard anymore. Hopefully you have very, very few projects still using ODOT CAD and finishing up ODOT workspace uh, projects. So I hope that's kind of the summary of our CAD standards that we have so you guys understand when we, we call out different names here that's what we've named these CAD standards. You want to really make sure you're using the latest one. So uh, you can find the downloads to all these on our, our downloads page which I linked right here. Um, so for the current standard, the OHDOTCE VO2 standard, you're going to use a, an installer it's called Workspace Tools. Uh, I'll do a lot of the work for you. You can set up as many instances of the workspace as you need. And then for the rest, you will find uh, just zip file downloads for them. Um, the ODA STD, we no longer provide a, a download link anymore since it is so old. So I just want to call that out here. Um, so you can jump over to this website and you can uh, download the standards and get started. And they'll have links. Um, for more documentation on how to get them set up and configured.